Sagittarius, what is going on? Welcome to Fire Friday. I hope that you are doing well and I hope that this rating finds you safe. All right, so let's see what your moon cycle is, Sagittarius, for this week. Waxing Gibbous, and this is Will, and that's number 13. Mmm, okay. So, Will, your will to pursue, your will to go through, your will to be persistent. Willpower. That's what I'm hearing. And then with it being 13, um, breaking down to a four, it's really important that you have strong willpower to establish a very stable foundation for yourself. A set in a SAR. So now I'm feeling like like the Four of Wands type energy. Maybe there is some uni union that is coming into play for you, or possibly that's something that you're interested in that you want. And it's gonna take some willpower to be able to manifest that. Let's see. All right, so Sagittarius, we got the scribe of swords. So that means that you're gonna have to do a lot of research and a lot of background checks when it comes to your lovers. So if you have some new lovers that are coming in or you're starting to be on the dating scene, you wanna make sure that you really get to know these people and really find out information about them. My ear is starting to ring a little bit. And then we got the Wheel of Fortune. So you're destined for greatness, regardless of the fact. You're doing well on the on the wheel. And as long as you stay in this Nebuha energy, high priestess energy, connected to your intuition, you will be able to manifest quite easily with a set being in the middle of the magician. There might be a requirement for you to move or for you to get away from some conflict that's been going on around you. Maybe if you're in a relationship with someone that is a, a causing a lot of conflict, maybe you need to really analyze and see if this is something that you want to deal with because, again, will is here. And sometimes we can be our own worst enemies by staying in a situation that really, truly isn't serving us. But because we have ego, we want to force it or make it work. Napu, this is indicating transformation death and rebirth it's saying that something no longer can exist the way that it is it's time for things to evolve to the next level and i feel like because something is evolving there is this energy of regret and remorse that is being had on some end maybe it's past lovers that feel this way towards you sagittarius but let's get some more cards what's the scribe of swords Hold on, y'all. Okay, so let's pick up where we left off. So on the Scribe of Swords, I got the Queen of Swords. So it's kind of like what I feel right now, Sagittarius, is that you're learning how to stand your ground when it comes to your thoughts and speaking your truth, being able to stand in your truth and evolve. You no longer have to continue to feel like you're not it's like your willpower is starting to strengthen you're starting to become stronger within yourself and be able to stand and you know defend yourself what is the will of fortune i feel like you had to learn that lesson because at one time you probably really just kind of went with the flow with what other people wanted for you but now you see that your willpower is just as important Okay, so we got three of unks. Yeah, there there was people that were around you because they seen that you were going to step into some type of fortune or become successful. These people didn't have much to give, okay, with the scribe of scarabs. They didn't have much to give, and this is what has caused a downbreak or a breakdown in 
the relationship that you possibly had with these particular people. It was just too many juggling acts that were happening, too much back and forth, back and forth, or not having enough when it comes to, like, I feel like they expected you to step in and to commit to them and to use every everything that you had, the power that you had within yourself to just take care of the whole dynamic. This feels like very weighed down and heavy. What's this nubbit head energy? But I feel like you stepped out of it because you started getting your intuition heightened and you start realizing like, this is not for me. The three of scepters. Yeah, so you started to wait for something else to come in and you start putting up a, a shield, almost like a heavy boundary against this other energy, these other energies. They were trying to work together to try to stop you from being fertile, from, from stopping you. They did not want you to create what it is that you're going to create, Sagittarius. They wanted to stop your creation. Because uh, Kanum was in reverse, so it's like... They don't want you to be the creator of your own reality. They want you to continue to just be in this waiting energy. But you're manifesting. What's that set? Yeah, three of unks. You're manifesting a way for you to be able to connect with friends and people that actually care about you that actually want to see you do well now you're manifesting true connections you walked away from past connections that just caused a lot of chaos and a lot of agony and you want things to completely transform so you've connected with new people what is the six of swords five of scepters exactly it was like people that thought that they, you know, were in some type of people that did not have the mind or the mentality to know that you are the one that is competing against yourself. It's not others. You know, you can see other people as motivation, but you don't have to get into this type of energy. That's the energy that you moved away from. Competitive type energy and not a healthy competitive energy. This is unhealthy. Okay, it had to change. Napu, what's this? I knew it. I said you you were bored. Ten of scepters. So now it's like whoever this was that tried to do this to you put a lot of burdens and a lot of tasks and stuff like that on you. Now they're feeling that. And now they see that they can't get any type of attention from you. You're not giving them any attention. You're more focused on this new beginning. Because you don't see it worth even trying. So now someone's crying or they're upset. They're in regret because now they got to carry this all on their own. If they connect to their higher self, I ten right there, the sun, if they connect to their higher self, it would be so much easier for them. What's the five of unks? Nine of swords, exactly. It's like, because they don't want to connect to their higher self, and they refuse to look at everything. You see in this picture how it's like he's holding his ears? They probably don't listen, okay? They don't listen, they don't try to take advice, and the advice that they do receive, all it does is cause them to be in this type of energy. So the people that they look up to or they listen to, they just cause them to be in some type of chaotic misery all the time, and stuck in their head, having anxiety, needing to take some type of medication to keep themselves calm. That's the type of person that this person is because they, you know, see people that are chaotic as someone to look up to but you're something different that they've never came across Sag Sagittarius that's what I feel I hope this wasn't too choppy y'all because I had to break it up because I had an important phone call let's see let's get the gym 
Garnet number 13. So Sagittarius, this is good for your third eye. There is the yoga pose right there. And it says, Garnet promotes faith in oneself, the will and the joy to make joy to life that makes us human. It gives the ability to turn obstacles into challenges for personal growth. So I feel like that's what you should see this as. This obstacle is just a challenge that's going to cause more personal growth in your life as you continue to go forward and you start to heighten your intuition. Because that's what I feel like you're doing. You're really hiding your intuition right now, which is amazing, Sagittarius. So that is what I have for you. I hope that this helped. And if it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. I definitely appreciate the energy exchange. And I will talk to you guys later. Deuces.